Hello, my wonderful one and new listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. So, Ludo backs to number four, dropping major Buhari policy. The Anambra State Governor Chukuma Soludo has commended President Ashua Jobola Metunumbu for dropping the economic policy of ex President Mahmoud Buhari. Soludo, while analyzing the country's microeconomics on Friday morning, added that the idea of servicing the country's debt with 90% of its revenue by the Buhari administration was like a dead or standing. The former CBN governor then commended President Tunubu for taking the bold step to remove the first subsidy. Chukuma Soludo, the governor of Anambra State, also commended President Tunubu for dropping the idea of servicing the external debt service of Nigeria with 90% of the country's revenue. Spending 90% of the country's revenue on external debt service was an economic policy popular during the immediate past administration of President Mahmoud Buhari. The former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, in an interview on Chalice Television on Monday, on Friday morning, said, while analyzing Nigerian microeconomics, stated that President Tunubu inherited a dead horse but standing economy. Soludo said, this government inherited from a microeconomic standpoint, I would say the economy was like a dead horse, but standing in microeconomic terms and modeling through this over the coming month, we will bump you, so no question about it. The governor further expressed his empathy and commiseration with the economic team of President Ashiwaju Bolamed Tsunumbu. According to the governor of Anambra State, Chukuma Soludo, he said the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in person of Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tsunumbu, should be commended for being bold and removing the first subsidy describing it as an obnoxious scam that has festered on the Federal Republic of Nigeria as a country's survivor over time. President Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tsunubu recently described the economic policy of the incumbent president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, servicing the country's debt with 90% of its revenue as part of destruction, vowing that his administration would never take such a part. The governor of Anambra State, Chuko Masurudo, has back Ashwajubola Ahmed Tsunubu for, for dropping the immediate past president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in person of Mamadou Bari policy. He commended President Tsunubu for dropping the economic policy of Mamadou Bari while analyzing the country macroeconomies on Friday morning. Charles Chuko Masurudo is a Nigerian politician, banker, an economic professor who has served as the governor of Anambra State since March 2022. He is a former governor and chairman of the board of directors of the Central Bank of Nigeria. He was appointed as the bank governor on the 29th of May 2004. Soludo is a member of the British Department for International Development International Advisory Group as well as a member of the President Muhammad Obari Presidential Economic Advisory Committee. Soludo, who has been a visiting scholar at the International Monetary Fund, the University of Cambridge, the Brookings Institution, the World Week, and the University of Oxford, as well as a visiting professor at Swarthmore College, USA. He has also worked as a consultant for a number of international organizations, including the World Bank. The United Nations Economic Commission for Africa and the United Nations Development Program. Soludo is a core professional in the business of microeconomics. He obtained his three degrees and then professorship at the University of Nigeria in Nsuka, Enugu State. Soludo graduated with a first class honors degree in 1984, an MSc Economics in 1987, and a PhD in 1989 winning prizes for the best students at all three levels. Soludo joined the federal government in 2003 and serves as chief economic advisor to President Odushe Gomba Sonjo prior to his mid-2004 appointment to the Central Bank of Nigerian Chairmanship. He was the chief executive of the National, National Planning Commission of Nigeria. In January 2008, in a speech to the Nigerian Economic Society, 
he projected consolidation in the private banking industry, saying by the end of 2008 there will be fewer banks than the way they are today. The restructuring of the banking industry has been attracting funds from local and foreign investors, which have increased bank ability to lend to customers. Soludo hopes to see Nigeria become African, Africa's financial hub and consider microfinance importance to the federal government's economic policies. On the 16th of September 2019, the president of Nigeria, then Muhammad Dubari, appointed Joko Masoludo as a member of the newly formed Eight Member Economic Advisory Council, EAC, which would report directly to the president on issues related to national economic policies. In September, September 2009, Soludo announced his aspiration for the seat of governor of Anambra State in the southeastern Nigerian state election of the 9th of February 2010. On the 9th of October 2009, the People's Democratic Party PDP chose Soludo as a consensus candidate for the position from the feed of 47 candidates after repeated attempts to hold elective primaries were stored by court injunctions. However, his nomination was contested by 23 of the 27 aspirants, citing lack of transparency in the process. After the initial grand call, 36 of the 47 candidates and several top shots of the PDP affirmed that their support for Soludo on Wednesday, the 14th of October 2009. Soludo went on to lose to Peter Obi in an election that was largely considered free and fair, according to major election observers. However, with his perceived solid performance as Central Bank of Nigeria governor, Soludo remains respected, remains a respected economic polit- policy authority in Nigeria. Political commentators, while urging on issue-based campaign in 2011 election, have called on aspirants to work with respected economists like Soludo towards an acceptable economic plan. In February 2021, Soludo declared, officially declared intention to run for the position of the governor of Anambra State under the banner of APGA. On the 9th of November 2021, the Independence National Electoral Commission INEC, announced Chukuma Soludo as a winner of the 2021 Anambra State gubernatorial election and governor-elect of Anambra State, and there was issued a certificate of return on the 13th of November 2021. On the 17th of March 2022, Soludo was sworn in as the fifth governor of, of Anambra State. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And told me your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.